Hi, welcome back to the tip of the day. I got all fired up this weekend, so I wanted to share with you. Um, we built a tree fort the weekend before for my kids, my husband and I and the neighbor helped. And I was staining it this weekend. We had a lot of leftover lumber, which we were gonna break down and take to the dump. And I decided instead, while I'm in the middle of staining this thing all weekend, um, that I was gonna use the leftover lumber to build a bunny hutch, which you see behind behind me. I've never built anything before in my entire life. My husband's like, don't even bother. You don't know how. You want me to give you pointers and you don't know how to use a saw. And and I was like, you know what? If you can do it, I can do it. And I'm going to figure it out. I'm not going to lie. It's really crooked. It's pretty badly done. But it took me hours and I tried really hard. And what fired me up was the neighbors were laughing at me. And uh, one actually came over and they were like all congregating out there at a bonfire drinking beer, sitting around, and they came over and said, hey little lady, you might want to wait for your husband. Is that rude? I'm not some sort of feminist chick, but we needed to get it done. Joe wasn't doing it, we had the leftover wood. I decided, you know what, I don't know how to use a saw. I might cut a finger off building this thing, but I'd rather be gimpy and have only nine fingers than be some whiny little chick that needs to beg her husband to do everything. There you go. Girl power. So here it is. I, all by myself, constructed a very crooked, very wobbly, but very useful and functional bunny hutch thing. It's completely surrounded by chicken wire, top, bottom, sides, so it can't dig or a hawk can't come and get it. it. Took me a really long time. I even made a swinging gate door for it. I'm totally proud of myself. And even Joe came home and was like, oh, that's gonna blow over in a wind. Men can be so rude, but you know what? You know what I felt like saying to those neighbors who were laughing at me? I cleaned the house this weekend. I did all the laundry. I baked muffins. I stained an entire tree fort. And I built a bunny cage all by myself, all while still being a mom, watching the kids and doing all that sort of stuff. What did your wives do this weekend, hmm? What did they do? Did they go shopping? Did they get their nails done? Who's laughing now, bitches? Who's laughing now? Get inspired. Do something even if people laugh at you or say that you can't. Try it anyways. My bunny hutch might look like garbage, but you know what? It works and I'm totally proud of myself because I use saws and drills and lots of tools that I never thought I could use before and I did a good job. That's your tip. Get inspired. Girl power. See you next time.